Having type 1 diabetes means your body cannot produce enough insulin. And one way to solve the problem is to get a pancreas transplant. Here to explain the life-saving surgery is Dr. Jacqueline Lappin with Scott and White. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Erin. Thank you for being here. So I was Welcome. just telling you during the commercial break, this topic is close to me because my father has type 1 diabetes and takes insulin every day. So I'm thinking, man, could this be something that he could look into? Well, a uh, solid organ pancreas transplant is one of those very well kept secrets. Mm -hmm. um, it is a, an operation that can be provided to a select group or a subset of type 1 diabetics. And uh, essentially it can be transformative. It can add life to your years. And um, what we're talking about is an operation for a group of patients who basically have uh, very challenging diabetes whereby they may or may not most of the time will require a kidney transplant. But these are patients who are struggling to stay alive. Um, this is an operation that can uh, arrest the process of the diabetes. Essentially what it does is it controls the diabetes. So patients technically uh, are cured of their diabetes insofar as that they're insulin free, the vast majority. Mm -hmm. But most diabetics will tell you it's not about taking insulin that's the hard part. The challenging part is the fact that their blood sugar, in spite of all the things that they do and do well, uh, swings and that in spite of all the things that they do, they cannot always uh, control the, the natural progression of this disease, which basically is a disease that takes from people mm -hmm. by virtue of the fact that it causes a vascular disease process. Um, it's the most common cause of blindness in young patients and uh, we frequently uh, realize patients need transplantation when they uh, end up needing to have a kidney transplant. Um, it is important to realize though that solid organ pancreas transplant uh, can be an option for some patients who have normal renal function. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a matter of their speci specific uh, disease process. Mm -hmm. um, we offer it here at uh, Baylor Scott and White, and I have to tell you that the diabetic patients that we transplant are some of the most um, rewarding patients to work with because it is such a transformative process. And it's a hard process. Mm -hmm. It's a process that you can't just come in and have an operation and change a disease that they've had for 20 or 30 years. Uh, this is a disease which uh, will take some time for patients to recover from, even with their uh, very successful transplant. Mm -hmm. Well, we only have about 20 seconds left. You mentioned to me that you've performed about 100 pancreas yes. transplants yourself, and it does take time to, to recover. Yes and uh, get back into the swing of things. Well, thank you so much for your time this morning. We're going to have more information about this on our website a little bit later this morning on KXAN.com along with this interview. So thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you for having us.